Good morning, St. Andrews College. I'm Kyle Murphy, and this is our special Black History Month episode of SAC Today. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Of their character. I have a dream. Today. February is Black History Month, a time when we celebrate black excellence and recognize trailblazers who paved the way for future generations. It's also a time to have discussions about our collective past and how we can move forward in terms of creating equality, equity, and inclusion for the black community. At St. Andrews, the Social Justice Council hosted a roundtable led by grade 11 student Tanai Ngarima, which featured a few current students, including myself, along with notable old boys Donovan Bennett and Chris Eggie. Let's take a look. I'm Donovan Bennett. People uh, who are part of the Andrian community probably know me best as DJ Donovan Jr. That's kind of what known by when I was on campus. I played uh, first football, first basketball, first rugby, loved my time there. Uh, and now uh, I cover sports for Sportsnet here in Toronto, Canada. And Chris Eggy, uh went to SAC, played on the basketball team while I was at SAC, also played on, on the volleyball team. Uh, I was there with my older brother, uh, Will, um, who was a deputy head prefect when he was there. Um, a less sack, uh, you know, right before graduation to go to a school called Mount Verde in Florida, where I played on a, you know, pretty good high school basketball team, you know, winning the, the national title that year. A few names you might recognize, Ben Simmons, Andrew Russell, um, had a pretty good team. Then after that, went to Harvard, uh, played on the team there before working in finance for three years. And now I'm just uh, working on a startup called Wave, um, which is a fintech startup for uh, college students. Kyle. Wow mentioned some of the benefits for black students to have faculty members, people of authority that look like them. You know, I'll add to that. I think it would be a great benefit for the white students to have black faculty members that, that um, can provide that perspective and provide that representation. You know, part of the overarching conversation that, you know, we've had since the racial reckoning of 2020 is one of humanity and, and why when you know, people, whether they realize it or not, look at black people and quickly make judgments and calculations. And part of that reason is because, you know, a lot of people don't have much exposure to them or their exposure to them is only in one way. I got a black guy on my fantasy team. Uh, I, I may have a, a black guy, um, you know, on my playlist, but I don't have a black guy telling me what to do. I don't have a black guy who is smarter than me in this area, who's teaching me about science or math or what have you. And so you form these views off of black people only by the ways that you intersect with them. What is the culture holistically throughout St. Andrews with respect to race? And until it comes to a point where a black student doesn't feel the need for a black teacher to step in to solve issues and make them feel comfortable being a black student finding their identity, where that responsibility is a responsibility that all the faculty feel like they have to hold, like they all feel like they need to reach that position of understanding and empathy to help guide students who are navigating such, you know, uh, a fragile and important developmental piece of their lives, you know, starting with giving the Black students a bigger voice in these matters, I think is super important and just hearing what they have to say. Congratulations to Tanai and the Social Justice Council for their initiative on this project, and thanks to all the participants. The full-length roundtable video will be up on the school's YouTube channel later this week. We at SAC Today decided to profile three important members of the Black community at our school. I interviewed one faculty, one staff, and one student to ask about their experience at St. Andrews and what Black History Month means to them, and a message they have for our students and Andrian community at large. For our first profile, I talked to one of our newest faculty members, Ms. Tamika McIntosh. Believe it or not, Ms. McIntosh is actually our school's first ever full-time permanent black faculty member. 
So congratulations to her and the school on this important milestone. My name is Tamika McIntosh and this is my first year here at St. Andrews College. Um, it's been a really great experience so far. I'm a teacher. I teach grade 9 geography and grade 10 English. I'm an assistant head of house at Sifton. I'm also a part of a lot of wellness initiatives here. We offer Zumba, stretching, hit classes and biking. Since I've been here, everyone has been super supportive. Um, I had people checking in with me almost every day when I first started here. So I felt like there was always a great support. And I always knew that St. Andrews College was unlike other schools. And it wasn't until I got here that I really got to see what that meant. One of the first things that I saw before I did my interview here for St. Andrews College was the SAC Today Black History Month episode. And it was really inspiring and motivational to see the students and see that they had an opportunity to share their voices. And I really want to be a part of a collective like that where your experiences and your stories are being shared. And I thought that would be a great opportunity to help out those students and possibly representing those students. For me, Black History Month is definitely an opportunity to share Black excellence, our achievements, our stories, and helping others understand and gain further perspectives on the things that we go through on a daily basis and understand the things that make us more similar and also the things that differentiate us. But I also feel that Black excellence and our achievements should be shared more than just within this month, right? I think every day is an opportunity to learn more about people of color, hear about Black stories, and I think that all of those stories encompass just help us understand humans better, and it helps us build relationships and connections. Is there a message you would like to share with the students in the Andrean community? Yeah, I would like to share with the students in the Andrean community to step up and take opportunities to learn about others' experiences, people from different backgrounds, different sexual orientations, different capabilities, um, will help you understand yourself a bit more and understand other people's reasons for moving through life. As simple as just following a social media account of someone that doesn't look like you, someone that has different perspectives and different ideas, even if you don't agree with them, can help us challenge our norms and the things that we think are okay and right, step outside of what we know um, to just grow and to be better people. In our second profile, I visited Mr. Kevin Cavalier in Cole Hall. He's usually working behind the scenes in shipping and receiving, but you may see him from time to time helping out during busy meal times. I really enjoyed getting to know Mr. Cavalier better, and I hope you all will too. My name is Kevin Cavalier. I am a receiver for uh, St. Andrews College in the uh, dining room in Cole Hall for 13 years. And my role here is under the instruction of uh, Chef David Pontone to receive our food items, basically put them in their place from freezers, fridges, our dry storage, uh, and make sure that uh, prep cooks, uh, sous chef, people that need these items so that uh, they can provide uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for St. Andrews College. The teamwork that we have here, it helped me just as much as I am helping them, and that's why our dining room is functioning the way it is right now. As you can hear the doorbell, that is one of my deliveries that is actually coming in at this moment. <laughs> teamwork. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what does black history mean to you? Black history, for me, um, means very much, not just on a, a specific month as we're celebrating, but on a daily basis. We can recall many black uh, men and women who've made superior breakthroughs, um, trailblazers, knowledge-wise, um, musically or in sports or in any aspects. And when you look up to particular individuals mm -hmm. Um, for instance, Viola Desmond or Mary Shad, or even former Lieutenant Governor uh, Lincoln Alexander. Although these individuals are first, but we can also look up to them. We can also appreciate the fight that they had to go through in order to um, not just being recognized, that's not the purpose, but to know that they can do the job, they can do the job well because they were given an opportunity. And at the same time, you'd like to be appreciated for the work that is being done and rewarded for the work that is being done. And that's, for here, it's comforting to know that the work that I do does make a difference. Is there a message you want to share with the students and the Andrew community at large? Of course, I'd love to. Um, 
open mind, open heart, open soul leads to open possibilities, open challenges. Black History Month, what it does is give us an open mind to see and hear and understand different stories and struggles that black people have gone through. And it's not just black people alone, it's also the indigenous, it's also gender with women. Everyone can have the same purpose by having an open mind, an open heart, an open soul will always lead to open opportunities. Mr. Cavalier, thank you so much for doing this for us. Thank you. It's a wonderful privilege to have this interview and to talk to this, this our SAC community. It's family and we take care of our own. We don't often hear from our staff who are so integral to our community, so we are very grateful to Mr. Cavalier for sharing his unique perspective. Now for our final profile, I spoke with my fellow prefect, graduating student, cadet leader, and all around Andrian, the one and only David Azude. So hi, my name is David Azude. This is my fourth year at St. Andrews. I came here in grade nine. My entire family and I, we were born in Nigeria. We came here when I was only two years old. My experience at St. Andrews has been really, really good. I was very excited to be here as a new boy. I got to learn not a lot of new things, meet a lot of great people from different backgrounds. So what a prefect is exactly is a student leader and representative of the student body. Last year we were elected as grade 11s and this year we are taking on that role. We are planning for school events. I don't want to leak anything um, that we're planning right now. I'm also the adjutant major of the cadet corp. I oversee the headquarters and the parade square, kind of behind the scenes, making sure everything's going okay. And we are training the future leaders of St. Andrew's Cadet Corps for the upcoming parade inspection that we haven't had for the last few years. So what Black History Month means to me is that it is a time for um, Canadians, North Americans especially, to look back on the time where black people were oppressed on a very large scale. And it's very important for us to look back on our mistakes that we made so we can learn from them and we also must acknowledge the black voices in our community, our society. You know, it's gotten better from where we are, from where we were many um, decades ago, but there's still a lot of work to do. This month is very important for all of us. It's very important for those who aren't black because they are included in this and they also affect our experiences here. And to black students especially, I want y'all to know that you can do whatever you wanna do don't let anyone influence you or tell you what you can or cannot be. I want you all to know that you matter and you have a place in this community and this place wouldn't be what it was if you weren't here. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> in conclusion, I would like to thank all of our contributors and interviewees. A big shout out to grade 11 broadcast journalism student Sydney Wambua, who is our lead producer and editor for this episode. And for everyone watching, Thank you for recognizing and celebrating Black History Month. Let's all strive to honor black excellence year round. For SAC Today, I'm Kyle Murphy. Thanks for watching.